Okay. Kind of digging the blue vibe a little better. Because I don't know why. That purple was like extremely bright for no reason. But um. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Anyway. Simply orange. Let's uh continue. Nine hours? Oh! So yesterday I said I played for two hours. Was that yesterday? Whatever. The day I played, you. whenever you see the video, you know. I said I played for two hours. Um, in those two hours, uh, after the first hour, it was like five hours where I just like, I fell asleep. That's what it was. I passed out and uh, woke up. And yeah, you know, some other shit happened, but I just woke up. I can't remember. Anyway. Uh, continue, shall we? Last time we were playing, or I was playing, and you guys were watching, um, we saved the guy's life. Nice, clean set there. Yeah, yeah, you don't gotta um, tell me every single time. Anyway. Can't I? I can. Yay, I got the grab jump. I tried it yesterday. Nice jump. We're right on top. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. I don't know if I have contraband or not. So. Scan complete. You are cleared to land. Heard there's some Atlantis. kind of retreat for criminals getting built on Exil 2. Strain them out or something. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, I didn't mean to hail you. No, I wanted to. Oh, this is the planet that I was just at. So, yesterday, um, I think it was after I threatened that little kid, but, uh, it was a job offer that they gave me. Very strange. <laughs> While right. we're here, it wouldn't hurt if we checked in at the lodge. How about no? I gotta. I wanna do something. This is my life. You can't tell me what to do. Also, I got new armor. You know, you see your boy. But um. Okay, let's check in first, and then we'll get a job. And I know, I, know. I keep looking at the mic, but the camera's up here now. I'm not used to that. Anyway, I know you can hear the buttons when I, when I tap on the controller, but you know, it is what it is. You're back. Did you? <laughs> we have it. Go ahead, do the honors. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive outfit as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. 
Here, you've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Okay. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. No. By the way, I'm not sure. How would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. Okay. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. Oh, we'll be working with everyone here at the Lodge sooner or later. Constellation is all in on this. Sometimes we'll partner up, sometimes we'll go solo. It's not a formal arrangement. We just came back with good news. We've got momentum. Why not keep going? You know, I didn't like you yesterday, or whatever the day was that I all right. last time. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. Uh -huh. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it, no other word. Mm, so that's while I'm good. recording this, we should get over there the and check on Barrett in that person. That I just edited is rendering. So I don't know. I'm not trading here with you. Time to go. Yeah, it's time to go. I don't need any exposition. I'll figure things out while we're there. Is there a bed here? I just need to know. I just, I just need to know. Oh. How you doing? This is this is my cat friend I was talking about. She's a piece of shit. Sometimes we'll go look. Look, she's trying to climb on my computer. No, don't don't do that. Don't do that. That's Stop trying to, no. That's my earphone wire. What are you doing? Why do you want, why are you going to start problems? Why do you do this? She looks like a little devil. And she's not even that big. She's like, she's so tiny. Sure, go sit on top of the couch. That... Cats. Don't really care for him, if I'm being honest. Just came over here to fuck with me. Stop biting me! Why do you keep doing this? But what is your issue? What do you? What? Get out of here! Why can't we ever just be cool? Go on, go on, go, go over there. Go on the other side. Okay, looks like it's starting to come together. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since God. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Just a friendly jab. Small group like this, you'll learn more about everyone than you ever wanted to. Kind of all that family is in a way. Like more than you'd ever want to know. Hello, kids are around, people. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Don't care. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I don't, but uh, sure, good to meet you. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, 
Let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. Oh, you're coming too? The three of us are heading to Aquila. For a settled planet of the Cowboy. Three Star Collective and, huh. not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay, it's in the box. As much as I enjoy having you around. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ, what is it now? <laughs> this is kind of fun. Well, kind of. Oh, yeah, my bad. I didn't mean to just stare you in your eyes, essentially. But, um, got some stuff going on over here. Yeah, uh. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Oh, she's actually coming. Oh, snap. Yo, why didn't you tell me it was a kid on board? What the fuck? Do not be mad at me if your child dies. I am very neglectful of anyone who rolls with me. So I just want to make that painstakingly obvious. Niggas will die rolling with me. Because I'll be damned if I'm the one who dies. Oh, this is here. Oh. Okay. Didn't notice that. Also... It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Well, your back. Argos has clearly washed its hands of this operation. Man. Oh, no. Don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. <laughs> okay. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Oh? Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Uh oh. Not quite. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags okay. him out into the open at gunpoint and demands okay, to talk, boy, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. Goddamn. Nah, I'm not gonna do that to her. That is fucked up. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
That's so sad. Ah, I feel bad for Lynn. for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. Oh, did I already have the power cells? I think that's... How was I supposed to know? that those power cells I've been picking up to sell were actually the ones that I needed. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on that camera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, I kind of want the power cell fast, but okay. Instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a chance. to me how many Alliance fires there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. All right, I'm gonna just listen to Whoever finds this, I'm yeah. attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. So, you actually get that computer working again? Yep. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's oh. time to put Argos behind me. Hold on. Come on. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you... my contract's up with Argos and... Yes. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Vasco, robot man. Anyway, as I was saying, the artifacts aren't exactly what you'd call normal. <sighs> you still want to talk about this? If there is, the artifacts are doing a heck of a job hiding it. The artifacts are so different, so alien. 
And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Uh, sure. You obviously well, want me to ask. Judging from the fact that both you and Barrett claim to have heard music, I've made the leap that the artifact was reaching out. Music composition might not consist of words and sentences, but I'll be damned if that isn't an attempt at language. Is there? <laughs> After spending years gathering data about the artifacts, you'd think I'd have all the answers. Does that really surprise you? A universal mystery left unsolved for God knows how long? Oh, I've been dreaming about solving this puzzle from the beginning. Your eyes do weird stuff when you talk. Stop it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. The gravity here is fun. Tell her. Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Jesus Christ, what do you want? Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah. Well, he missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I uh, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? So, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. Man. I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to see that. Any nigga that says trust he me. He tells me we Come need on. to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Hmm. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. Dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. <laughs> you missed the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then, he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. 
Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but... Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab-jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good... <clears throat> ...space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey! Uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Nah, nah, you, you stay here. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is, yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. This nigga like Barrett is fucking ridiculous, dog. Landing side looks clean. Let's set it down. Good to see you. Hmm. All right. What do we got. Am I being reassigned somewhere? Nah, nah, you're good. You're good. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Uh, thank you, I, I guess. Oh, this gravity is, um... Oh, shit. Why? Why are you doing these things that you're doing?
Where'd... There you go. Oh, there we go. certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? That's the latest thing you see. No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Point still stands. You need an open mind out there. You go into the far reaches of space too tightly wound. The brain is just gonna pop like a soda can. Well, we're out here fighting for our fucking lives. Just chatting. Guessing we're just supposed to go in there guns blazing, right? It's 
a good thing that they can't see you. Because I'm pretty sure they'd be just embarrassed for you as I am with those fucking pants on still. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. That was me, or are you talking about Barrett? Well, uh, I can't say I feel too bad about you killing someone who kidnapped me and probably murdered a lot of people. But... Oh, was I not supposed to do that? So, back to the lodge. Matsur the Grim, honestly, a pretty nice guy as far as pirates go. I think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're alive, I guess. All right. That is, can we consider this mission complete? I, I consider this mission complete. I mean, they're not dead, they're with me, and everybody who is possibly an enemy is dead, so as far as complete missions go, I chopped this up to a win. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here, cause um, it's two in the morning. So um, yes, it's not five like it was last time. So it's a little better. Still, mm. it's pretty late. So yeah, uh. Catch y'all later.